Hey everyone, in this video today, I'm going to unbox the Samsung range and show you the setup process, including assembling it and then plugging in the gas line into the wall. It's a regular 30 inch wide range and should be able to fit just about in any 30 inch wide range area. Here's what it looks like, finally out of the plastic. Inside the oven compartment, this is where we have all the parts to assemble it. And we have these silver caps here where the hole actually aligns with the lighting filament here. So once you put those on, you'll be good to go. They shouldn't move. And these black caps fit right on top of these silver bits. Next, we set these large grills on top of them. There are three of these. And right behind this tape in the back of the unit, that is where we install the gas line. The gas line that I bought came with this adapter. On one side of the adapter, I have thread sealant and notice I have it just hand tightened for now. Once I can't tighten it any further, I'm going to hand tighten it with a wrench. Make sure it's snug, don't over tighten it. The other side, the gas adapter goes into the wall. Notice I have thread sealant once again in the part that's fixed to the wall. Then I hand tighten it with a wrench once again. Don't over tighten it. Now it's time to connect the gas line. Just hand tighten it on top of this adapter and then follow it up with a wrench. And once again, make sure you don't over tighten it. And for reference, if you have a torque wrench, try not to go over 25 pound feet of torque there. I have a dish soap and water combination here and a spray head. This will serve as my spray bottle. Obviously, I don't have a bottle, but I'm going to spray the connection between the gas line and the wall and the gas line and the oven. Look very closely at the connections. Just make sure that there are no bubbles in between. Turn the gas line back on. Now check to see if your burners are all working. For me, it took a couple of tries. It took me about a minute for the gas to get all throughout the system and then allow me to turn it on. After which I saw flame out of each one of them. With everything set up, set up the anti-tip bracket as you can see here on the bottom right, then push the stove back towards the wall. Do one more final sanity check and check all the burners. But there you go, that is how I installed my new Samsung range and connected the gas line to the wall without dying. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.